Hi, in a previous video, we saw how you can configure A10 Thunder ADC for deploying SharePoint 2016 using AppCentric templates. In this video, we will see a demo of an external and internal client accessing SharePoint website and how you can monitor traffic statistics using the dashboard section of AppCentric templates. Here is an overview of the topology we had deployed earlier. The SharePoint website address is sharepoint.a10test.com. For external clients, this will resolve to the external virtual IP 192.168.1.253. And for internal clients, this will resolve to the internal virtual IP 172.16.1.253. In addition to HTTP to HTTPS redirection, the Thunder ADC will perform SSL offload to terminate the incoming SSL connection from the client. Here is an external client. To show HTTP to HTTPS redirection, we will specify the URL using HTTP. Specify your user credentials when prompted. As you can see over here, the connection between the client and the external virtual IP on the ADC is using HTTPS. Here is an internal client. If you specify the SharePoint website address using HTTP, you will be securely redirected to the HTTPS URL. Specify your credentials when prompted. As you can see over here, the connection between the client and the internal virtual IP on the ADC is using HTTPS. Now, go to the web GUI of the Thunder ADC and access the dashboard section of the AppCentric templates. For the external web 192.168.1.253, the services on ports 80 and 443 are up. We have one SSL session and one authentication session corresponding to the external client. You can see similar information for the internal web 172.16.1.253 as well. This concludes the demo showing an external and internal client accessing SharePoint website and how you can monitor the status of the virtual services and traffic using the dashboard within AppCentric templates. Thank you.